every city, town, and suburb of America looking for ordinary people and tested their street smarts by asking basic questions about the world around them. It will be up to our players to determine who's uh, got their head on straight. And speaking of players, let's meet them. Hello, Amber. <laughs> and what's up, Chris? What is going on? Marks. The winner goes home richer, and the loser just goes home. Yeah. Let's meet the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. First, a specialist named Ryan addressed my frustrating cell phone problem. <laughs> Ryan, where are you from, and what do you do for a living? I'm from Dedham, Mass., uh, and right now I work for a cellular industry. Is there any chance that you can get my cell phone to work ever once? No. Ryan, if you could marry one celebrity, who would it be? Uh, probably be Tara Banks. Oh. Tyra Banks. Tyra Banks. She's hot. Yeah, I'd figure out her name if I married her, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ryan, what's your IQ? I would think it's probably about 180, but the rest of them would think it's about 18. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And in Santa Monica, California, uh, Jane played with my heart. Jane, where are you from and where'd you go to school? I am from Michigan, uh, from Michigan originally. I went to Central Michigan University. What's your favorite movie of all time? Probably St. Elmo's Fire. Oh. It was the best peanut butter and jelly sandwich I ever had. <laughs> so, Jane, I understand you sing, too. Yes. Pop music, dance music. Oh, like country? Britney? No. I played with your heart. She does that in the video. Heart, you played with my heart. Exactly. Not that I've dissected the video. <laughs> <laughs> And finally, I had a sobering conversation with my new friend, Gabriel. I'm here in Nashville. I'm with Gabriel. Gabriel, you got kicked out of the Marines for what? Smoke marijuana. Does it make you nervous that there's a cop standing right there? Uh, not really. He has nothing against me. Gabriel, if there was only 24 hours left on the planet, what would you do? I'd probably go borrow about $200,000 and have a blast. You should have a big party. What band would you hire to play your party? Probably Limp Bizkit. Limp Bizkit? Yes. They I'm did it all for the Nookie, you know. The, oh, yeah. The Nookie's out of the way. What's buddy. Nookie? Exactly, I couldn't tell you. It's just a good song. <laughs> hey, it's time to play a little game we like to call Who Knew It? Yeah! We ask the same question to all three people in the field, and your challenge is to guess who answered the question right. You will lock in your choice, and a correct guess will earn you $100. Let's do this. Amber's ready, Chris is ready. Let's, Let's get busy. Here's the first question I asked to Ryan, Jane, and Gabriel. I just wanted to look at Jane. Okay, uh, I asked all three, sing the Pink Panther theme song. So flip up your paddles, guys. Tell me who could do it. Who knew it? Do you think it was Ryan, Jane, or Gabriel could hum the, uh, the theme to the Pink Panther? Okay, you guys both locked in, and you did it at the exact same time. You both went with Jane. Chris, you think Jane knows this, huh? Yeah, uh, yellow is my favorite color. Okay, yeah. She's right. got it. Okay, and Amber, you think Jane will know also? She has a pink tongue, like the Pink Panther. Okay, <laughs> all right, let's find out. Yeah. Sing the Pink Panther theme song. <laughs> I think that was Sanford's son. <laughs> you big dummy. <laughs> you both had Jane. I'm sorry. That's a wrong answer. She did not know the theme. Who do you guys think knew the theme? Gabriel or Ryan? Ryan. It was Ryan. Let's watch. Ryan, sing the Pink Panther theme. Sing it. Uh, it goes. Da dun, 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 da dun. Oh, from Aliquippa, Pennsylvania, right around Pittsburgh. Okay, here's the uh, the next question I asked all three guys. In the sentence, see Dick run, which word is the noun? So who knew it? What do you think? Ryan, Jane, or Gabriel could tell me what the noun was in that sentence. See, uh, all right. Okay, you guys are both locked in again. You both think Jane again. Amber, you think she's gonna come through this time? I think so, because she's supposed to be educated. if she's all right. educated. All right, let's find out. In the sentence, see Dick run, which word is the noun? Run is the noun. Actually, it's uh, it's dick. <laughs> Jane got that one wrong again, guys. You both had her. I'm what sorry. Now, for the correct answer, who knows it this time? Ryan or Gabriel? Ryan. It's Gabriel. Let's watch. In the sentence, see dick run, which word is the noun? <laughs> dick. Dick is the noun? I, I go with dick. There you go. Way to go, Gabriel. Yeah. Here's the last question of the round, guys. I asked all three of them. I asked them. What kind of fluid flows through the carotid artery? So who knew that one? Knew that one? <laughs> Ryan, Jane, or Gabriel, will they go to the well one more time on Jane? I don't know. Let's see here. And OK, you guys are locked in. Looks like Amber's going back to Jane. Chris thinks Ryan. But first, Amber, you think Jane will get this one finally? Yes, You're going because she came times. from the university. OK, <laughs> let's find out. What kind of fluid flows through the carotid artery? Blood. There you go. And you know that because your major in school was? Exercise physiology. So you know all about that stuff. Absolutely. Very good. Good, good thing.
take it, Amber. She got it right. That's 100 bucks for you. Chris, we're gonna check out Ryan's clip. See if he knows it also. What kind of fluid flows through the carotid artery? The carotid artery? Kind of, uh, that would be like saturated fat. E. Yeah, it sounds like it. That would hurt the, yeah. A clogged carotid artery, yeah. That's the wrong answer. I'm sorry, Chris. Ryan didn't know that. And how funny is that in that Boston accent? Yeah, Brad and Adam. Right. All right. Let's recap the scores here. Chris, you got nothing, but it's thank early. You, thank you, thank it's you. It's early. Don't worry. Amber's only got $100. Not bad. All right. Now that we saw who knew it, stick around. We'll see who knew it. Why don't roosters lay eggs? Because they're too busy to crossing the road. <laughs> Street Smarts, that's me and our players. We have the lovely Amber here. Now, Amber, you had a little accident at an amusement park. Tell us the story. Well, I just have to say, I've learned my lesson about weaves, Mr. Frank. Uh-oh. I got on this ride, Superman, and it took off. Poof, and right. I went that way, and my hair went. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But it's mine today. It's mine. All right, okay. you look very nice, Amber. Now, Chris. Yeah. Chris, uh, you tried to make a good impression on your girlfriend's parents. What happened there? Oh, well, well first of all, I just want to say this girl is beautiful, Frank. Okay. Good for then you. Then I find out that she's loaded. I'm thinking, perfect. <laughs> I'm broke as a joke. I can just right. marry the money, you know? Right, yeah. So I sit down next to her and her family and everything. I get sick at the table, all over the table. You throw up all over the table? Oh. Yeah, however, I'm still with her to this day. You're still with her? Because I run it like that. <laughs> yeah. 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 He can puke yeah. on the table. No, man. As we enter our next round, who blew it? This time we ask the same question, only two of our mainstream havens. One answered right, one answered wrong. Each time Amber or Chris correctly identifies who choked on the question, they get 200 bucks. Yeah. yeah. And you can earn an extra $200 by using the dunce cap. Here's how. When you hear a question you think will rattle your opponent's brains, whack the buzzer on your chair and dunce them. If they cannot answer the question, you get 200 bucks. Remember, there's only one dunce in the round, so use it judiciously. All right, here's the first question I asked both Ryan and Jane. I asked them both. Judy Scheindlin is better known as who? Chris, you've been dunced by Amber, throwing up her. Chris, $200 on the line. If you cannot answer it, she gets the money. If you do answer correctly, the money stays with you, and she's going to wear the cap. I'm going to read it again. you got five seconds to answer the question, and the cap matches your shirt. Judy Scheindlin. Judy Scheindlin is better known as who? Um, Judy Scheindlin is... Uh, Two seconds. Judy from the Jetsons? I don't know. That's your wrong answer, Chris. I'm sorry. You get the $200, Amber. Way to go. Nice time. Flip up your paddles, go ahead, Chris, flip it up. Tell me who blew it. Let's see, uh, between Ryan and Jane, who blew it? Chris, you blew that one. Yeah, thanks. Find your partner. <laughs> He's like, yeah, thanks for reminding me. Okay, you guys are both locked in. We have a Ryan, we have a Jane. Amber, you think Ryan blew this, huh? Yeah, because he don't know Dilly. Let's find out. Yeah. Yeah. Judy Scheindlin is better known as who? That's the judge, Judge Judy. <laughs> Very yeah. nice. Yeah. That's a correct answer. I'm sorry, Amber. Ryan knew that answer. It looks like Jane's the one who missed it for you, Chris. Let's watch. Judy Scheindlin is better known as who? Uh, Marilyn Monroe. Up, 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 up. Are you sure about that? Yes. Up, up, up. No. It's actually Judge Judy. Oh. I was doing like Judge Judy there. Up, up, up. I haven't seen that. I've watched it like this. Way to go, $200 for you, Chris. You're on the board. Jane blew that one. Nice job. Here's a question I asked to Ryan and Gabriel. Finish the saying. An eye for an eye. Hmm. So finish that saying, guys. Who think uh, who couldn't do it? I'm sorry, who blew it? Do you think it was uh, Ryan or Gabriel blew that one? See, Chris, you have $200. I can't oh. see over his legs. That's all right. Okay, you're both locked in. You both think Gabriel blew it. Amber, Gabriel blew this one. That's what you're feeling? He couldn't even say in the Marines. I okay. mean, all right, you're right. Yeah. He had a problem. Let's see if we blew it for you. Finish the saying, an eye for an eye. Uh, tooth for, no. <laughs> eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. There you go. There you go. I'm sorry, you both have Gabriel. He got it right. It looks like Ryan's the one who blew it. Let's check it out. Finish the saying, an eye for an eye. An ear for an ear. An ear for an ear. Is that right? What's this, uh, no. I didn't think so. It's a tooth for a tooth. Is it a tooth for a tooth? Yeah, you, you keep working down the face. You don't, I mean, I got them all, so, you know what I mean? All right, thank you, Ryan. Here's the last question, guys, of the round. This one was to Jane and to Gabriel. I showed them both this card and asked them, can you use these words in a sentence? All right, who blew it? Who could not do it, Jane or Gabriel? Didn't know what was going on there. So let me know, guys. Amber looks stunned. All right, okay. 
<laughs> so what do you think, guys? Uh, it's between Jane and Gabriel. Okay, you're locked in. You both have a difference of an opinion on this one. And uh, let's see here. Chris, do you think Jane blew this, huh? Yeah, I don't think she has a clue. Okay. She let me down last round. All right, let's find out, see if she blew it. Jane, can you use these words in a sentence? I would like a Mohawk Desert? Dessert? So say that again? I would like a Mojave dessert. Oh Mojave Desert. <laughs> no, Mojave Desert. Oh, my God. oh, I like when she misses them. Okay. <laughs> she blew it. Way to go, Chris. She blew it out of Amber. I guess. Uh, I'm sorry. It looks like Gabriel's one who got thank that right. You, it's you, Mojave you, Desert. You, you. As in, I've been to the Mojave Desert before. All right, All right. let's recap this, Chris. Amber, you got $300 right there. Yeah. And Chris came through there. He's got $400. Pick your pony! This time, Amber and Chris will each choose one of the three favorite professors for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is worth 300 bucks. Very nice. And we're going to leave the dunce cap in this round. This it can only be used once, and it's worth another $300. Now, the player who is trailing chooses first. Amber, that's you. So who would you like so, to horse around with? I'm going to ride Ryan. You're going to go with Ryan? All right, Chris, how about you? I'm going to go with Jane. She helped me out last round. Jane, Jane. fine that's choice. All right. That's my girl. Amber, here's the first question I asked to Ryan. You're trailing by 100 bucks. A correct prediction will put you into the lead. I asked him, Ralph Macchio played a kid who liked karate in what movie trilogy? What do you think? Oh, uh, la, la, la. He got it right because he's a man. He's a karate kid. Okay, let's find out. See if you can take the lead. Ralph Macchio played a kid who liked karate in what movie trilogy? That would be the Karate Kid. There you go. Can you give me the crane move? Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Way to go, Amber. 300 bucks for you. You got it right. Nice job. You're up to $600. Okay, Chris, uh, you picked Jane. Thank you. Uh, here's the first question I asked Jane. Why won't you normally see a sturgeon in an ER? Oh my God, Amber, you've been done. Three hours on the line. Okay. She's saying it's okay. I'm gonna read the question again. You got five seconds to answer it. If you don't get this right, Chris will take the lead. Why won't you normally see a sturgeon in an ER? Because surgeons are in there. I don't know. Um, the wrong answer. I'm sorry, Amber. Chris gets the money. Way to go, Chris. Three hundred bucks for you. He takes the lead. Chris, do you think Jane got that right or wrong? Uh, I'm gonna go with wrong. Think she, she got it wrong? Yeah. She has no clue? I, do you have a clue, Chris? Come on, please, Jane. Okay, all right, let's find out. Help I'll me out, out, Jane. I'll find out. Why won't you normally see a sturgeon in an ER? Uh, because he's a general practice doctor. Uh, sturgeon's a general practice. You're not gonna see them in the emergency room. No. Okay. She got it wrong. Way to go, Chris. Yep. Very profitable question for you. You made 600 bucks off that. Uh, the correct answer. Do you know why, Chris, the correct answer? <laughs> Yeah, a sturgeon's a fish, so you would never see that in an ER. Oh. But you made 600 bucks off it, who cares? All yeah, right. exactly. Amber, uh, here's the next question to, uh, to Ryan. In England, if someone asks to see your flat, what do they want to see? What do you no. think, Amber? No way? Because <laughs> I don't even know what they're talking about. All right, about. let's find out. Let's see what's going on here. In England, if someone asks to see your flat, what do they want to see? My, fl my flat? Yeah. If they want to see my flat, I'd turn around and bend over. <laughs> I mean, I'm showing your thing on me. Which is your what? Which would be my behind. That's a wrong answer. Way to go, Amber. 300 bucks for you. You pull up at 100 bucks. Uh, if they want to see your flat, they want to see your apartment. Apartment? Oh, I'm working on my accents for the, uh, the acting gig. All right, Chris, here's the next question to Jane. What was Colonel Tom Parker famous for? Think she got that right or wrong? Tom Parker, let's talk about it. I, no, I don't think so. Don't I, don't, think so? I don't have any faith in her. No. Yeah. All right, let's see if you no. can uh, extend your lead here, buddy. <laughs> what was Colonel Tom Parker famous for? Fried chicken. Fried chicken. The Colonel. <laughs> yeah. Look, well, how do you like your chicken? Crispy, extra crispy? Extra crispy. Mm, yeah, it's the Colonel's secret recipe. Yes. Uh, I'll tell you all, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> see? Chris, you got it wrong. Way to go. You had it wrong. I tipped off the answer a little there with the Elvis thing. Colonel Tom Parker was uh, Elvis's manager. Took 50% of everything Elvis ever made. All right. Choo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's okay, no here's your last no question of the round for you to Ryan. Okay, Amber, you need this to uh, need close, uh, get close to Chris here. I asked Ryan, what are the Radio City Rockettes? He's a ladies' man, and he got it right. All right, <laughs> let's find out. Check it out. He got it. What are the Radio City Rockettes? 
The radio, oh, they're dancers. Right. They do the crane move in their own way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what's going on. Right yeah. Actually, it's half kick, ha. Okay. Half kick, ha. <laughs> she got it right. Way to go, Amber. 300 bucks for you. All right. Sorry you had to see that, folks. All right. Now, uh, Chris, you have $1,300. Amber has $1,200. This is the last question of the round. You can extend your lead here. Last question to Jane. We got a tight game. Maybe you can get a little breathing room here for the wager of death. I asked Jane to list the ingredients in a Big Mac. Think she could do that? I, uh, no, I, no, no. <laughs> All right, let's find out, Chris. Wrong. List the ingredients in a Big Mac. Uh, there's beef, cheese, lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, ketchup, and that's all. Okay. On a bun. I think actually it's I didn't say that. two all beef patty, special sauce, <laughs> lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Oh, come on. That was sweet. She got it wrong. Way to go, Chris. Another 300 bucks for you. Let's recap the scores. Amber, you got $1,200. That's not bad. Chris, $1,600. That hit the way for death. Now, when we return, Amber and Chris will be making a final prediction on a question I asked to Ryan, Jane, and Gabriel. I asked them, how do you tell how old a tree is? Stay tuned because one of our players will be going home in a pine box in our final round. Don't you miss it, come back! Each of you secretly chose one of the three people out on the street, made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. Recap and scores. Amber, you got 1,200 bucks. Chris has got 1,600 bucks. Now, Amber, if you would win some money on the show, what would you buy? Some more shoes. You'd buy the money for some, use the money for some shoes. All right, right. Chris, how about you? What would you use it for? Uh, I think I'd buy my uh, girlfriend's parents some uh, a new tablecloth. Oh, yeah, nice. the one you threw up yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, very nice. All right. Okay, remember, only the winner gets out of this place with any money, which means everything rides on this final question. Now, here's a question I asked to Ryan, Jane, and Gabriel. How do you tell how old a tree is? Okay? Let's get your choices. Amber, you're trailing by 400 bucks, but you're very much in this game. Now, who do you want to see? Mm -hmm. You're going with Gabriel? All right, now, Chris, how about you? You got a lead. Hoping for a tablecloth for your girlfriend's oh. parents. You're also going with Gabriel. Wow. So only one person's going to settle the show. We're going to say bye to Ryan and Jane. Oh, bye. Do we have to say bye to Jane? Okay. So here we go. One clip uh, to figure out who wins some money tonight on uh, Street Smarts. Let's find out what happens. How do you tell how old a tree is? You can tell by how many rings are within the circle's trunk. And you or, can't... Or the, the trunks. And what do these rings mean? Uh, supposedly, every ring means one year. There you go. All right, that's a correct answer, guys. He knew it. Gabriel nailed that. Now, he got it right, uh, Amber. What did you say he would do? 1200 bucks on the line. You said he would get it wrong. Amber, how much money did you wager? You wagered all $1,200. Oh. Ow. No shoes for you. No. Okay, all right. Now, Chris, you also had Gabriel. You got $1,600. You're in the driver's seat, heat buddy. He got the question right. What did you say he would do? Ah, oh, you said he got it wrong. I hope you didn't wager at all. Would you wager? Hopefully you got some tablecloth money there. Wager 900 bucks. Uh, $700. Chris, you owe 700 bucks, buddy. Thanks for playing on Street Smart Jammer. Thank you. We'll see you <laughs> How do you tell how old a tree is? Oh, you count the rings. Very good. Oh, yeah, yeah. How do you tell how old a tree is? By the rings that are around it. Like if you cut it down, the rings that are inside, and you would count them. 